So in this video, we'll be learning the basics of displaying certain normals in our mesh and looking through smoothing groups or mesh display options in Maya. So you have a cube. In this cube, uh, if you want to display certain things, so let's see what are the things we need to remember to understand uh, baking an object in the future, which is our eventual goal. The most important thing to understand is something called as vertex normals, which you can find underneath the display tab, polygons, and here you have vertex normals. If you select a mesh and we click on the vertex normals, what we see is these are the normals of every single vertex that is in, on this object. And currently that's set to default, which in this case is perpendicular to the mesh itself or the face of the vertex itself. Uh, the second type is face normals. Now face normals are just in between between vertexes. Uh, these sort of change over time uh, with vertex normals change. So main thing to remember is vertex normals are more important than face normals. And these values can override uh, face normal values. At least when it comes to interpolation, uh, that's what I mean. That's what gets calculated. Um, next up is something called tangents. Tangents are an important part uh, when we see uh, the difference with and without UVs, which we'll go through in a while. And and together we can also see how they look like. Right. So we can switch on vertex normals together. We can switch on face normal together, and we get an idea of uh, what are the properties of this particular mesh. Uh, next up, what I want to show you guys is uh, underneath mesh display options. And these options, uh, in Maya, they're called mesh display. In Max, you'll be familiar with the word smoothing groups. And smoothing groups are nothing but uh, how the vertex normals behave or how they are adjusted. So currently, uh, if I come to my display once again and switch on my vertex normals, so this mesh display options primarily changes the normals of the mesh. Right? Now, what are the normals uh, required for? What do they do? Uh, to put it simply, uh, normals just tell light uh, how to react to the geometry uh, in, in terms of how the camera is looking at it uh, in its most basic way. Uh, for example, if I go inside the mesh, uh, if I say if I come over here, and uh, right now this mesh is too big. Yes. Oh, I think I switched off. Yep, I, I turned back face curling off by mistake. Uh, if this happens, just don't worry about it. All right, switch off to set. I think. All right, so this is how it should look like. Uh, let me just go back to default. Uh, I think I clicked it by mistake on the video when I just started it. All right, so when I come in my mesh, and if I go inside my mesh, what you guys will see it's black in color. Black in color because the vertex normals of this particular geometry are currently facing inward. Right? Uh, sorry, not facing inward, but rather uh, the normals are facing outward. Hence, the uh, reason why it's black is because um, light is sort of ignoring this part because the normals are facing outside. So, main thing to remember is um, every single face, in this case, that has face normal, uh, think of it as having. Uh, two sides to it. One is a positive side, and one is a negative side. Right? So the negative side is one that ignores light, and the positive side is one that catches light. Right? And we have an option on need lighting over here that shows a two-sided lighting. Right? So this one uh, does not really, for example, if I delete the faces, uh, you can see light on both sides, that means the front and back. What two-sided lighting off, what this one does is, uh, it only reads the positive side of the normal, in this case, the one facing outward. And then it ignores the one facing inside, uh, which should be quite default to see in Maya. Um, so when we come to mesh display, uh, these are all the options to change the normals of the mesh. For example, the two most common ones are harden edge and soften edge. Soften edge refers to, if I select the geometry, uh, what it does is it sort of averages out the vertex normals. Uh, based on how, uh, based on how the geometry is, for example, if I had an edge again, you can see that there's one top, left, and right, 
And the average of all of this is just one line in between. So if I soften it, this is what you guys see. Now the reason why you guys see black on these three sides is because the normals of that vertex are facing away from the camera. Right? Um, so if I rotate my camera on that side, you'll see that now the other sides appear to be black. Right? And it's a very common thing to see in soften edge meshes or sort of smoother meshes, um, especially with a low polygon model. Uh, later in the series, we'll see how we actually uh, solve this sort of issue in baking if it creates a problem. Another important display, underneath mesh display options are something called a set to face. A set to face just resets everything to the face value, right? Uh, for example, if I have a spear, let me just focus on it. Okay. So if I come into the sphere and if I click on set to face, what you see is every single face, the normals are the way they are. Right? And it's all split out in this uh, manner. Um, let me just turn them off. And when I soften it, what it is, it sort of averages out that, that normal. And what we see is a very smooth result. Now, for more information, uh, what you guys can is what you guys can do is uh, just go to this website. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, this uh, this is one one of the blogs uh, by uh, Dini, and um, this one tells a lot a lot about shaders. But the more what I learned from this blog is more about normals and normal vector. Uh, of course, there are many other websites that I actually went through for this sort of information. I found that this website is pretty useful. Right, so they mostly talk uh, a lot of how uh, smoothing actually works, per fragment lighting, uh, or per fragment light, uh, how it actually differs from per vertex light, um, and some other important words that I'm that an artist may need or need not know about it. Uh, but the most important thing to know is that mesh display uh, you can ch change the normals of the mesh right that's that's one thing you need to understand um, for example if i set a face resets it hardened edge looks similar to what set of face does but not exactly the same soften edge averages out the vertex normal average also averages out the vertex normal but the difference is if you hardened an averaged um, option after clicking the average option uh, you'll see that hardened doesn't really do much uh, so in this case we'll have to come and set to face which will reset everything for us uh, now average and soften edge are pretty much the same thing is that it is do two different things uh, well they do the same thing it's just that um, for example if i average i have to click set to face to reset it and hardened edge won't work yeah. so set to face and hardened edge are also similar, right? Set so to face resets everything. Hardened edge uh, doesn't really work with average. And of course, there are many other things. For example, reverse. Reverse reverses the normals, and hence, when we go inside, what we see is light reflects inside, or light is shown inside. Right? And if I reverse it back, the normals will come back out. Uh, there are also many other options that people do use. For example, vertex normal edit tool. Uh, this is something that uh, once you reach a certain level, you can sort of change the normals of a particular mesh and that will react however you want. Uh, of course, that's more custom work. Uh, we don't really need to do that at this current point. At this current point, you just need to understand uh, certain display settings, uh, which is in this case mesh display settings, uh, in, in other words, called smoothing groups, and the real display in this case previewing our vertex normals, previewing our face normals, uh, previewing our tangents and how they are is what we need to understand. Right? Um, so what I have, I have a couple of other objects. Uh, for example, this cube that does the same thing as soften edge. Um, and what I have over here is referred to as tangents. So if I come in and switch on my tangents, I'll be able to see uh, how the tangents are. Um, now to simplify this, uh, what tangents are, tangents work with UVs, in this case red meaning the U-axis, blue meaning 
the y-axis and how they now sometimes if you change it uh, for example if i take this take this UV from top and if i flip it to the to the bottom half you'll see the blue guy uh, flipping from top to half to top to bottom right and then if i take it back up you'll see it goes up down up down right and this is one of the difference uh, that comes in tangents uh, that show the u and v coordinates another thing is uh, i have a different mesh over here that i can view my tangents and if i compare it to, to the previous one right what we see is the tangents sort of move in the same place right now what i did in the second mesh is i sort of rotated the uv shell and the mesh at the same time so for example if i rotate this guy what you see is for, uh, for example this was previously something like this uh, if i rotate this guy to match what's in 3d space it'll sort of be the way it is right so these red lines and these blue lines work with uv and that's what you need to understand for now if you if you want to work with uh, if you want to study more in depth, uh, you can go to some of these uh, blogs or websites. I put in the description, and you can have a um, and you can look at it. On, um, if you want to study more in depth to it, okay. So three things. Um, in this case, we can view face normals, vertex normals, and tangents of a geometry. Uh, later on, I'll talk about problems that come with tangents and especially in the engine next thing is uh, mesh display options mesh display changes primarily the smoothing groups of the mesh for example hardened edge versus softened edge and well tangents do change but we'll go to another example right. Right. so the main thing to remember is in mesh display is hardened edge uh, resets or not really resets but uh, changes the vertex normals to be perpendicular to the face or the vertex or the edge, uh, basically the geometry itself. Uh, Soften edge sort of averages out and uh, set to face is similar to hardened edge, average is similar to soften edge, right? Just different names do similar things on the same thing uh, with small changes in them. Uh, soft and hardened edge is something new that came out in Maya recently. Um, this is for more custom geometry where uh, the angle is uh, based on an angle, it will harden or soften an edge. And we'll see how uh, we can use this in the future. Right. So that's it uh, for the basics. Just understanding how we view things and how mesh display actually affects uh, the normal so tangents of our geometry. Okay. So see you around in the next video. Bye.